used to call me on my cell phone. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and settings right now. So this is just like a basic overview of settings. I'll probably like explain a few. But yeah, secondary character. So my secondary character ID. If this is basically just like silly friend girl's avatar. So to do that recently, my right shield ID is it's just uh, a rhythm game meme I found. So portrait mode I have that off. Hide lobby on and hide map on. Now, depending on if you have a pretty good device, you can have both of these off. And I have a pretty good device, but I just don't like my stuff to be lagging. Dog spectate mode. For people who don't know what this is. Wait, 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 wait. Disable opponent arrows. You don't necessarily have to have this on because I don't think it affects FPS that much. But if your device can't handle generating arrows, then I suggest having it on so it'll turn off the opponent arrows. Next is toggle spectate mode. I have this on because I like to see like people like actual notes. It's basically, you'll walk up to a stage and someone's doing a battle, but you won't see the notes. That's because you have this off. So if you want that to happen, you want to have that on. Toggle materials off, toggle shadows off, toggle props off, toggle camera movement off. It's pretty distracting. Toggle camera directional movement. That's extremely distracting. Um, I have bot play on. My bot play's accuracy is 92. Instant animation snapping. I have that off. It makes the animations look much better when you have it off. If you have it on, it's just like there's no transition from idle to your next animation or from animation left to hold animation shake basically what it does is when you hold a note it shakes your avatar you can have that on if you want i don't really have it on i just turned it on because i haven't used it in a long time camera movement speed um that's a five i don't really have it on so i'm pretty sh pretty much have no reason to even have a number there Right side mobile buttons, nope. I use mobile tiles, mobile tile buttons. Tile dragging, I have that on. Mobile keyboard mode, no, because I don't have a keyboard that can hook up to Funky Friday and just work without you having to go through some tutorial on YouTube that pretty much doesn't work. Character walk speed, 36. You just get to places faster, so just have it on 36, which is the max. Info bar, yes, have that on because you want to see your accuracy, your misses, and your combo. It's really helpful. Um, opponent info bar, that's also helpful because you want to see what your pro opponent's doing, how good they're doing. Toggle accuracy gauge. Listen, listen, listen. The accuracy gauge is probably the most important thing, especially when you're toggling with your arrow offset you always want to have that on especially when you're like especially when you're trying to work with your accuracy or you're just changing an offset um judgment statistics yes have those on because you want to see if you're getting six or goods high spectators um i suggest having this on unless you have your skull underlay pretty low like i have mine's on 0 0.1 but yeah definitely have this on Definitely, because you don't want people to just be hopping in front of your screen and distracting you. High seated players. No, you don't really have to do that. Toggle note effects. Basically, this is just like the little sparks of notes when you hit a sig. You can have that on or off, but if you have it on, it's a higher chance that your device will lag. Ghost tapping on middle scroll on. I like to have my notes in the middle rather than on a specific side of the screen. Opponent's arrows, middle scroll. Yes, you want to be able to see your opponent's arrows. Toggle health bar, yeah, you can have that on. It's not really necessary, but if you want basically just a better understanding of if you're winning or not, I definitely suggest health bars. Down scroll, listen, if you're a down scroll player, you can turn this on, but I'm not a down scroll player. I've been playing for almost two years, and I learned on up scroll. So just from me playing FNF, that was like pretty much my first main rhythm game. So I learned with up scroll have down scroll on if you're a down scroll player but if you're an up scroll player have it off arrow replication yeah you can have that on so you can view your opponent's arrow colors arrow style replication you can have that on so you can see like what specific notes they use and you never know you might like the way it looks and you you'll have a new preset for yourself 
toggle hit accuracy indicators always have that on colored um you don't really have to have it on but i definitely suggest having it on because it'll be easier to tell if you just got a good or a bad or an okay because it's, it's color coded it's no sound have it off if you still have miss no sounds on you hit no sound um i have a whole bunch of different hit no sounds Hit no volume is at 7, and the hit sound time position is 0 0.15. Arrow fade, nah, you want to have that off, because it just like creates extra effects with the notes, with them glowing and all that stuff, so you don't really need that. And arrow offset is 20, and my hitbox offset is 16. Now, depending on how I'm feeling, sometimes I'll use 10, but I usually use like either 15 or like 20. These are just pretty good, especially if you're not used to zero. For some reason, zero hitbox offset, just I, I'm not good with it. My accuracy is pretty much garbage with it. So, yeah, those are pretty much the settings. Oh, and um, toggle alt tag. That's off. That's off. That's off. Um, yeah, so this is all my settings. Just have another quick look over it. Oh, note hit time. I don't know if I went over this, but I have this on. Because it's it once again it's really helpful if you're trying to um if you're toggling with your hitbox offset it's always helpful. So basically you know if you can hit notes at your comfortable like timing and it'll still be accurate. So basically the closer the milliseconds are to zero, the that that the better it is. So if it's closer to zero, then that's pretty much it's pretty much the offset for you. Um that's pretty that's pretty much everything. That's pretty much everything. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I went over everything, just making sure. I can't believe I actually just went through every single setting and pretty much explained it. I, I don't know what I just did. Okay, now time for the arrow settings. Um, For my left arrow, the RGB values are 66, 88, and 255. For my up and down arrows, they're both at zero saturation. They're just white. And once again, the right arrow is 668255 for the RGB values and my arrow speed is 2.1 my arrow size is 1.35 my lane off offset is negative 15 and sometimes uh, my high offset I'll put it on like negative 50 if I want my notes to be higher but usually for some reason it just doesn't work and it sits in the same spot so I just usually have it on zero and if you're looking for like more accuracy then i suggest playing on 1.9 but if you play like a lot of speed patterns and just pretty much patterns where they're really jumbled up i suggest 2 or 2.1 you can even do 2.25 if you want to but it's just pretty much up to preference but i definitely suggest like to if you're trying to move up from a slower scroll speed i definitely say start with 1.9 if you were using something like 1.75 or 1.5 or something like that definitely start with 1.9 it's a pretty good scroll speed but yeah my main scroll speed is 2.1 I've gotten really comfortable with it. I have been thinking about moving up to 2.25, but what what did I just do? Okay, but yeah, I've been thinking about moving up to 2.25 recently um, for my 6-key, six 6-key. Six um, I haven't really went through these like a lot lately because I haven't been playing 6-key, but since I do play 6-key, I'll just show you guys. Um, these are just my 6-key colors and stuff chargers right here how lucky am i that's not the that's not the freaking ipad charger okay um where's what where, where bruh nah you're tripping. you're tripping oh it's right here i mean being an idiot i forgot i left it in the search protector all right so those are just six key settings i don't really play seven key a lot because while well, i'm a mobile um, it, I just usually literally toggle through all that one time. I don't really play, like, anything higher than 6-key. These are all of my, like, my presets and stuff right here. I'll probably, like, do an in-depth thing with this, too. But that'll probably be for another video. Oh, and, once again, if you have a low-end device, never have your graphics up 
to like max or 10. I definitely say like five for an average device or like three that like if you still want decent looking graphics but if you have a really bad device put it on one but since i have a pretty good device i'll put it i usually have it on 10 and i pretty much have nothing on with optimizations but yeah that's that's it that's about it and here in like my player stats yeah so those are my settings hope you guys enjoyed uh peace